Dads and I have been in meetings all day, but one of our good buddies stopped by, Mr. Jonathan Ward of... Icon 4x4? Yeah. And the hell is that outside right now? Bad Daddy Braddy's skipping out, but I think this calls for a... It sure does. Oh, you don't have slow one? on the uptake oh, here. Oh, there it is. Great way to end the day. Yeah. Oh, oh what up? Yeah. Wow, Ned, you're a real dirtbag. You got this in your back pocket? <laughs> Cheers, boys. All right. Ah, whoa. This reminds me of Zach's first time on Daily Trans. <laughs> I didn't know how to drink beer. Oh, oh my fucking boy! That's so bad! <laughs> Cut to Zach's first beer on Daily Trans. <laughs> Mr. Ward. Yes, yes, sir. How are we drinking Pats? This guy's dressed so nice. I He's know. always dressed Always nice. This is M.O. How are you, sir? Hey, brother, Thank you, you so much for coming out. How's it Certainly. going? This is my personal ride, and it's actually the build that I eventually went, uh, duh, yeah, we can do this at I. From here back is a 52 Chrysler Town and Country I bought in Pacoima. And super cool car, killer interior, but the front clip is really ugly. So I didn't know what I was gonna do with it, so I sat on it for like, hey, don't, don't, hey man. I'm just <laughs> talking about the front end and looking at the primo bodywork. So I didn't do that. Uh, whatever, uh, even if you did. So like two years later, our radiator shop had this car, which was a 52 DeSoto sedan and it was dirt cheap and i knew enough to know all those mopars that were all lego interchangeable yeah, sheet yeah. metal so that same night i yanked the desoto back took all the sheet metal hung it on the chrysler and then i was like yes okay now i know what i want to do sweet oh well, nice. that's cool it's so much fun i've and put almost thirty thousand miles on it so far and what is this is this a newer like six two six four six one srt eight right you can tell yeah. The intake. yeah with the cast intake instead but of the i love plastic the way you combine the old school yeah the old Hemi yeah because i couldn't handle the plastic covers. valve covers yes so these are the original ones from the original hemi from the car and i just built little stands and put them on there to hide all the plastic oh that's rad i also appreciate you're normally known as like the ls guy so i appreciate the fact that you matched yeah, yeah Hemi no, we, to chrysler we do yeah. that a lot but at the end of the day the reality is is GM stuff is the easiest to service, the easiest to manipulate. And you can always do custom valve covers and put it in. Yeah. I also gotta say I love this car because it's the only car that I feel like I can come up as a neighbor and just lean on it as a build. Oh right man, Nads hey, would, up, Nads would be you, that guy. Like, I'd be the annoying Nads, neighbor. That Nads is the guy when you're working, you're working on your car in your driveway. And it's, and it's he comes and chews your ear off for four hours <laughs> and you get nothing done. <laughs> does one of these? It's like oh, because <laughs> I wouldn't be in here tweaking a goddamn carburetor. Exactly, carburetor. You know, the first time I saw this car was it 2010 at SEMA. Yeah. Did you debut it in 2010? Yeah. And he drove it to SEMA, a SEMA car that was driven to SEMA. That's yeah. what I love. And then, like, I read it, there's a great old uh, aircraft surplus place by the shop. It's like all the hardware is surplus left over. This old eBay score 1700s whiskey bottle with a modern Lagavulin cap just because they're abundant in my <laughs> recycling bin. So that's for the radiator overflow. And then the old horns. I discovered you don't have to re-spool six volt horns. They're just louder when they're 12 volt. And then I found this, it's like an air siren, like a really obnoxious hmm. siren. Like an oh. air raid siren? Yeah, totally. We were just talking about that in a meeting today. We could use this. So when the kids were younger, I'd hit that like a block away from school and they'd hear me in the playground. <laughs> yeah. like, I gotta go, my dad's here. <laughs> Like, oh, the engine is just yeah, it's back. <laughs> like, look how wide this thing is. And it's mostly, well, I mean, they're big, but when I, I added valve covers on top of valve covers, mm -hmm. so it kind of exaggerated yeah, yeah. the girth. Let me ask you something. You're known for more of the Icon 4x4 full repop off-road super capable vehicles, but that are also done really well. This was the first vehicle that launched your derelict line. Yeah, yeah right? Uh, yeah, and I'm not that up? bright. Yeah. Like, I didn't do it as a branding thing. It was a car I wanted to build for myself. And then when it got on the cover of Hot Rod and won a bunch of stuff that I didn't even think it would 
And I was like, oh, and people started asking for them. I'm like, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll call them derelicts. <laughs> and we'll keep building them. Now. Dude, just get your skin seats. That's actually hide of the elusive Naga. Well, it's Naga hide stamped like, to I'm look so like. I'm so basic, yeah, I don't yeah. even know what that Naga, is. No, I'm not going to let me sit on that. <laughs> I love how you left patina bits. Yeah, yeah left all, man. Yeah, left cool. it all square. I powder coated all these because they were like way too patina. They painted oh. all flaked off in chunks, so I powdered that. Same with the wheels, we repeated that same powder down low. You know, we're bringing him out because he, we brought him out, he brought the 58 Silver Cloud. That was a customer's car, and he drove Scotto and I around the block, and it was right. amazing on the freeway. He goes, I really wish we could leave the yard. He said, we can't. Scotto won't let us. Uh, I was so said, close to get him to break that car. Yeah. <laughs> I was almost proud. So he said, I'll bring something back, and I will get rowdy. So oh, I so can't, you can't drink beer yet. All right. I'm going to get rowdy, but I'm going to be on the dock after. getting rowdy, so we'll celebrate afterward. Yes, <laughs> and Nav, and... Audio and wait, 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 wait. Where? Yeah. Hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on. Where is it at? So it's just this hey. little screen and controller right here. So that's it. Oh, just that guy. Yeah. So oh. And then the AC, I got the rare radio delete plate. This is where the radio used to be. It took me like three years, finally found it. So that's now four AC vents and it gives you a really nice right. spread. I like yeah. this. Let's go dash. And here's that obnoxious. That's the obnoxious wow. horn. Man. And then this is the. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I really like the. Uh, and then again, like we didn't even have the term derelict when we built it, so it was years later I went back and designed the badge that you rem might remember from the rolls that's yeah. on everything so we built. So question about the color. Yeah. This is obviously which one? <laughs> none of this is Fotina, right? This no, is all this is original. all legit. So was the the front of the Desoto and the rear original same color? Well, no, you can I mean, see it's see like... But no, I, well, they're I can't were, tell if that's like... <laughs> no, they're kind of, sort of, but not quite same color. Okay. But the thing is... It's sort did, of like in its patina state, like, looks yeah, pretty works natural. You but know? like the DeSoto wagon had the killer catfish grill and killer front clip. I like the front end But the interior DeSoto. on the DeSotos were like super plain. Gender. Right. But the designer who did these for the Chrysler division, who did the interior, they just have way more... Oh, class and at least the story that I was given. Oh wow, that's I keep sick. Keeping. It, Look at he, this armrest. Well, the Damn. guy did like rail cars and oh, luxury God. We got ships. One of those. Uh, so it just has uh, way what? more character. <laughs> no. Yo. And then this folds flat when my seat's not all the way back. And even the tailgate. Like a thing going on. Yeah, right? totally. <laughs> and then the tailgate ride. extends even further oh, my God. with wood. So much soul. A thousand pound chair. This is so nice. So it's a really super. So you have an eight foot bed too. Yeah. There's plenty of room in the teak or Yeah, yeah. No, I cut those to hide my rear speakers. They're front. Yeah, that's so chill. I made you kicks in the front to hide out there. And then the base is under the driver's seat. Let me ask you a question. How do you feel about clear coated patina? Bullshit. Yeah. Oh, that's why I want to talk about. No, if you clear coat patina, it officially has jumped the shark. Frankly. If you're gonna do that, personally, I'd be less offended if you just did the vehicle wrap patina. Oh, oh, stop it! That's, stop better, it. that's better than clear coating on his patina. Because then you're not He's offending time earned wabi sabi and ruining it. So then you can just take your car and wrap it. I, I like 50 50 agree, party. but the wrap patina kills me what on the inside. No, have you, you seen a good one? Yeah, have you, you, have you seen a really yeah. good one? Uh, I, I mean, it's Hot one Rock of those things on where a, if uh, I didn't uh, notice, I saw it. Gen Camaro, good, right? they, they brought out to work? power tour. No, it didn't work. Because of the body panels are plastic, so you're, it's not selling. Yeah, well, I've seen a couple that work really good. I yeah. could testify that this is real patina because we tried to get you to bring it out in the rain. So don't mind driving in the rain, but I got to be honest, I, I'm committed to my patina and I can't let it get any worse. So anytime I expose it to the rain, you do you have a level of patina that you've achieved? Yeah, you want to go, you wanna go full patina. You want to go full patina. The biggest issue is the, what, they, what we call the crocodiling <laughs> on the front door. Right. Because then the water drips down and gets And then that's when it gets trapped. And, and, and then you just have, and then you have a raw metal door. Yeah, you have no paint left in this door suit. You know? We could always vinyl wrap it, right? <laughs> All right, now. So Just because they said it's less offensive doesn't mean I'm going to do it. As you what build, do you guys think about faux patina? Oh, uh, they're the. I don't like any of it. Yes. I kind of like that. 
Just no, just get that. Just get that no, it's a patina. Is that like wearing the? Is that like wearing the the band shirt to the show? You got a I know, daily transmission shirt oh, on daily like transmission. They turn I around, Ned. They turn around, Ned. Ned. So I know, guys. In case you were wondering what you were watching, <laughs> you know, reminder. Wow. Three best derelict stories. Once, light traffic. Old lady Kane walking on the street. She goes and suddenly postures good. Cane wagging comes right over to me, taps the fender on my 33 Ford, and she goes, I lost my virginity on this very running board of this kind of car. <laughs> Turned around and walked away like nothing happened. Then in this car, morning commute, leaving Starbucks, black lady, modern Mercedes, traffic, big crazy finger. She goes, mm -mm -mm. that car would just about make a white boy fuckable. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you pointed at me for that one. Final, final derelict story was some guy like, you know, panhandling on the off ramp and he goes, that's one fine hoopty. So I really hoopty would have been a you guys know, don't know who yeah, no, yeah, we know who Come on, we're, Come we're on. hip. We're hip. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think that's like an East Coast thing, right? No. Yeah. Hoopty, Hoopty, Hoopty runs, Hoopty runs, runs, the, runs yeah, coast to coast. That, I would say is yeah. universal. Yeah. Kronk, I'm not sure. Kronk, I don't know. That's one of the layers of why I love the derelict projects the most of everything we do. They're so diverse. They're so creative. You can be tongue-in-cheek and make design decisions playing off the history and the patina, but most importantly, like it just makes people smile, like they're fun. Yeah. They're not like, oh, that prick going to, you know, there, there's no judgment except for. Just slipping. The phone is zip tie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. After he all the builds I've boss. seen here, he's no, you know what? All the builds I've easy. seen from him, I've never seen a zip tie or a sheet metal screw. I found some zip ties. You missed them. You're human. Where is They're it? They're under the kind of There's some right here. It's just for that light. Hey, you know what? <laughs> in, in, in defense of zip ties, yeah. it depends on the zip tie, my friend. Well, it's tough. It's Grasshopper? <laughs> there are many grade of zip tie. There are the metal sheathed lined ones. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, and then my, my favorite, if it's if it's not conductive, is from poultry farms. Yeah. The leg tags. You can order those in bulk online. They're stainless. Do you really try to class up zip ties? I am. I think I actually. <laughs> try to class up zip ties. I did. Now uh, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I would really like to hear what this thing sounds like. Oh uh, yeah. I see eight cylinders, so I'm gonna go ahead and guess there's some chop. Turn it up to twelve. Yeah. Donuts! Donuts! Sorry, kids. You realize anywhere else on automotive media that would have been. That's would've like, been that's like, the front cover of Motor Train. the lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> Is your shop in short? Yeah. That's amazing. Yes. I guess they've never visited, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, what do we want to see, boys? That was a warm up, right? Uh, no. You want to let one of us drive it? No. No. <laughs> How about one of your boys? Oh, no. <laughs> well, you know what's really sad is the boys thought they were going to get to drive shit cart. And Quinn, my youngest, it's it? perfect timing because he just got his learner's permit. And last week's rain, I thought it would be a perfect time, so I took him out of my parking lot. Well, we gave about 10 minutes to learning how to drive stick, and then we gave another 20 on burnout. Right, yeah. He's getting really good. He was, like, very excited. You guys let him down. It's but on hold. always next time. There is, there is. What do you think he should do? You think he should tear the rear tires off, right? I think he should at least try to throw in a 180, but he keeps on backing off on that one. Uh, <laughs> that's stupid. I say he's just chalk it. Do, do I chalk it? Someone wants it. So. <laughs> Are you gonna get this guy a beer or was that not good enough? I don't think it's worthy of a beer as much uh, as I love him to death, man. Maybe next time I may can earn a beer. Maybe next time. We'll see about next time, so. Well, I think we should bring the about 1100 horse Tom Nelson twin turbo big block three door, now four door 69 Suburban. Because the client wants to drive it, so if he wrecks it, <laughs> it's good. You guys get your yah yah, he gets his, and I get more work. All right, it's well. Much better. So that, that works for us then. So for now, that's the wow!